Today I'm gonna make these eggnog Betty Crocker cookies. They're limited edition. It says they're 110 calories each if you make them exactly right, which I won't, so mine will probably be a lot over that, but it's okay. Um, you need one stick of butter softened and one egg, and that's it. So that's all the extra food ingredients you need. And then, um, so, and then I have my oven preheating to 375. And I, I always enjoy showing how we make the cookies. I don't know why. Um, and some people, oh, that smells like eggnog. Mm -hmm. Some people say that they really like uh, watching us make the cookies, even though it's pretty basic. Um, but, uh, really the purpose of me showing you all this is just, it's a taste test. It's just a longer taste test, I guess. We want to see if they really taste like eggnog. They smell like eggnog. They, they certainly do. So, you see my butter is softened. I've had it laying out for probably, probably an hour it's been out. This is the part that makes your arm sore. It is. And you have to smush it. And you just keep going. Yeah, it's probably going to mix around. Until, oh, it would be nice if you got your, Kevin has a really nice expensive mixer. We paid a lot of money for it. And um, he needs to get it out because the holidays are coming and we're going to be using it a lot. And Plus, I have several other cookie mixes to make. So I don't mind if you get it out. Okay, I took a bite off camera and they taste just like eggnog. Good eggnog. Not the kind that we did during the taste test. <laughs> Not that silk stuff. I'm going to just continue to put these. I, I, you see, I put six on that cookie sheet. I'm going to put six on this one, and I'm going to get them in the oven, and they're going to go for eight minutes, and uh, then I'll be back to show you how they look when they're ready. Okay, we've come into the dining room because this is the be best place to film both of us because he's a lot taller. <laughs> Um, but these are, once again, the Betty Crocker Eggnog Cookies, limited edition. And this is how they turned out. We still have some um, the cooling in the kitchen. It made, what, 18? 18. 18. 18. But these are good size. These are the ones, you know, I made them with a cookie scoop. And so they make bigger cookies. Mm. And this, eight minutes is how long I cooked mm -hmm. them. And they're perfect on the bottom. Mm -hmm. They're good and moist. This is... Mm. It definitely have the eggnog flavor. Mm -hmm. They kept that flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. That is a good cookie. Mm -hmm. Even has that the since we made pretty thick cookies, mm -hmm. it even still has that creaminess kind of of, uh, of eggnog just because they're so thick and the dough on the thick part's kind of still tender and soft and squishy, so it um. Kind of gives you the impression that it's like creamy. I was wondering if people that couldn't drink eggnog could eat this, but I guess you can't. Um, I don't know. Contains, uh, may contain egg, milk, and soy. I get, no, because you have to put, I don't know. They're made with certain things, and then you add egg and butter, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, we don't have uh, food restrictions around here, so. As you can tell from me. <laughs> No food restrictions. No food restrictions. So, you know, forgive us if we don't have a clue what people that, um, I know gluten is wheat and, and things like that and macaroni and, uh, but I don't know, um, like lactose, I know that's milk, but I don't know specifics like when you get into cookie mixes and things like that. Unless it doesn't have milk in it, I don't know. Yeah, I just, yeah, but... Does butter? That's dairy. It's yeah. Made from milk. So I don't know. Anyway. Actually, margarine technically is not made from milk. Is so that what we use? Yeah. So we use margarine. So I don't know. I don't know. But 
These are good. They're really good. You should try them while, when they when they yeah. come out. If you got them in your area, buy them. Try them out if you like eggnog. Yeah, I had my doubts. I, I you know, because once you cook some things, they lose the flavor. Yeah, it goes completely away. And uh, so I'm very, very impressed with these. They don't mm -hmm. need icing. They don't need mm -hmm. anything else. They are have a great flavor. Yeah, icing would probably ruin them, actually. And they were so easy to make. So mm -hmm. thanks for watching.